Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert. So did you know that you can grade the uh, seriousness of your cellulite? Mm. There's something called a validated photonumeric cellulite severity scale, PCSS. And this was published in uh, 2009 in several medical journals actually. And there are different ways of grading your cellulite, but the most accepted way seems to be uh, where there's both the clinical um, report about how, so the doctor is, or the therapist is looking at the cellulite and the cellulite and they're reporting it, but also includes the patient um, evaluation, so your own evaluation of the scanning. This seems to be the most popular anyway, and it uses uh, photography actually. So, so there'll be a photo taken of your butt or your back of your thighs or your tummy or wherever your cellulite is. And then you together with your doctor or therapist will then grade it. So it can be graded from zero to five. So zero is zero cellulite, so none whatsoever. One is almost none, and two is a mild, and three is moderate, and four is severe. So remember, it's both you and the doctor or therapist who is actually grading it. Um, and uh, this seems to be the, the best way as such to do it. But there are other ways. So another way could be grading it from one to three, where mild grade, grade one, there is uh, between one and four lumpy bumpies and you can do this in a standing and you could pinch your, your skin to see if there is some but if while you're standing you're only seeing about one to four little little dimples then it will be a mild grade two will be there will be between five and nine of these dimples and and, and grade three which is severe will be so sort of what they call the mattress effect <laughs> where you've got 10 or more of these uh, these uh, deep dump, um, dimplings or lumpy bumpies and the skin looks very draped as well doesn't it so again in grade three this would be severe in grade two it'd be mild and in grade one there possibly wouldn't be any of the draping at all so there's lots of different ways have a little look at that article and uh, possibly start taking some photos or get someone to take photos if it's on the back of your thigh as mine is and then sort of evaluate how bad it actually is mm. happy hormones happy life